Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting Minecraft Let's Play episode, and I know the first thing on your mind, well, one of the first things on your mind would be, Tykin, this isn't your normal house, this is the little house you have way over there, I would think. Something along those lines. Anyway, yes, that is true. My house is far, far over there in those side of those mountains that are not fully rendered yet, but anyway. Uh, this is the little house I built for my the start of my village, which, as you can see, is uh, barely a start whatsoever. However, I am going to be working on it today. Um, it's one of the first things I actually wanted to build. I've just been really wanting to build a barn lately. So anyway, what we're going to do is I kind of looked around here for a while trying to find the perfect, absolutely amazing spot that I could find, which just happens to be over here because... Well, being a farm, you want some flat land. Uh, the farmland itself doesn't have to be flat, but of course animals need to graze and sheep. Despite their apparent love for hills and mountains on this game, aren't generally mountainous creatures. Neither are cows, to be a matter of fact. Anyway, uh, this is where I'm going to be building my new barn slash barn house slash farm. Pretty much everything necessary for the village over there. And I also wanted it far enough away because, you know, you don't want a bunch of farm animals m mooing and buying and all that other stuff right next to your house. So, first things first, we are going to clear out a little bit of this. And I have a super shovel, apparently. Let's see, it is unbreaking, efficiency, and zilk dutch. So it just plows through this faster than creative mode. Uh, which is kind of funny because I was actually working on it in creative mode and it's like, wow, this is taking forever. So, we're going to do everything by hand here, and that sounds a lot louder than I thought it would be. I think what I'm going to do first, actually, is I'm going to clear out all of this necessary, the um, the flatness of the land, because we want to build on hills, but not entirely. So we're going to flatten out just a little bit, probably to about this level. Uh, again, not everything just where the house is going to be, the actual like farmhouse where the farmer and the wife are going to live. So I'm going to... Uh, I guess stop here so you guys don't have to hear this sound and I shall be back for just a moment okay guys I am back more or less and I'm just kind of filling in a few I guess pieces now I'm, I'm actually I may have to fill in a lot more but we're gonna figure that out as we go because I have these blueprints right here but I can't really tell exactly where they're going to be going until after I uh, start building. So let's see, uh, first things we're going to need is our support beams, which are going to be spruce wood. And you know, we might as well go ahead and get get some, um, we're going to be using birch wood to kind of have some, I wanted all wood, but I also wanted to have some slightly contrasting colors. Oh, also, uh, one thing that's going to help me is, well, let me just grab a full stack of cobblestone. There's a little cobblestone pathway that I'm going to be using right here because I'm not sure what I'm going to put right here yet but I do know I want to put something right there kind of like a backyard like a vegetable garden although I'm not really sure that would be entirely the best thing to do but uh, essentially yes that is what I want to do um, uh, I believe this is about right so a little bit of a corner right there Let's see, does that look right? That feels off considerably. But I think it's in my diagram, so it must be perfect. So, let's see. Um, right about here, I believe. This is really hard to do while looking at graph paper, by the way, and trying to figure everything out. Um, let's see. Ah, oh, crap, I forgot I don't have creative mode. I was going to try to fly up a little bit and look. Uh, let's just move everything over a little more. Because that definitely feels weird. Even now, it still feels weird, but... I suppose there's little we can do about it. Okay, let's see, so... Um, over one, over one, and then across two, and then up and how many? Three? Four. So that'd be f two, three, four. Which would mean, let's see, 
Doors would be here. And support beam would be there. That feels like enough room. I think that is. Plus, I believe I filled this in a little. Oh my god. Uh, I should probably have put down some torches beforehand. Um, actually, I have an idea. Uh, this is not going to be fun to do, because I... I wouldn't say I might die, but the chances of uh, this being fun for me or the monsters is slim. So let's see, some of this, some torches, quickly make a bed. Good thing I brought some of this for decoration. Okay, so we're going to plop one of these down. These, not the torches. Although the torches, very useful. And we're just going to keep these uh, around here until they get into the way. Okay, I know if you sleep in a bed with monsters nearby, I can teleport one to you. Let's hope it's not going to happen and not going to be a creeper. So, uh, whoa. It looked like I jumped on the bed for a moment. Oh, also, oh crap. What did I do? I think I went into full screen mode. Yeah, I accidentally went into full screen mode. I fixed that. Luckily, oh my god, duh, that is, mo that is terrifying, holy crap. Uh. Not only are they, oh my god, they remind me of those little child monsters from freaking, uh. ugh, where'd you come from? And they don't burn? Holy crap, reminds me of dead space, holy crap nuggets. Speaking of crap nuggets, I may have to change my pants, just maybe. We'll, we'll check later, but no promises. Oh crap. Too strong of a shovel. But yeah. I believe... I believe that's the right dimensions. And again, I keep forgetting I don't have creative mode. Because as some of you may know, I like to build in creative mode to figure out what I'm building. That way I'm not sitting here going, um, no, this doesn't look good. I, I should do this. And it basically just saves a lot of trouble for all of you. And you get to see most of the finished product pretty straight away. Um... I'm going to have to get rid of this. I might make another crafting table just to have over here. Just so I don't have to keep running back and forth. Uh, let's see. What do we need to do now? I need to make some stairs for decorative purposes. I'm going to probably need a lot more of these, but for now, that will do. I should actually probably use regular wood. Or some of the spruce. Uh, just a stack, I suppose. And then two doors. Okay, perfect. Um, we're going to want to have them inward like this. So from the outside, which is the part I normally have trouble with, it adds a lot more, mm, what's the word, depth? I think depth is a good word. On the inside, it's going to be kind of flat, but it's not going to really matter too much, I would think. Okay, next what we're going to do, something like this. And we're also going to use more of these. I might have to redo this window, because even on my other version, it, it just didn't look quite right to me. It didn't look bad, per se, just not good enough for my standards. Boop. Okay, then we come across like so. Oh, crap, I forgot to get glass. Well, that's okay. I need a bunch more decorative stuff anyway, so... Oops. Um, I think I had a support beam right here. I believe so. So we're just going to do this, also come across like so, um, we'll get to that later. And then this is going to be kind of mostly like this for a while. Uh, let's go ahead and actually do this first though. Um, let's see, right here, I believe so. Okay, we're also going to have a little support beam here. Just going to have this go straight up for now. Put some regular wood like that. Put some, I believe, birch. And we're just going to have this uh, come like so. That looks about good. This is going to have three coming out. I believe that's about right. Okay, so now we're going to have 
two of these, like so. We're gonna go ahead and start with some of the furniture just because it's there. Um, actually, we will we'll need more stairs, but for now. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, I forget to bring paintings, but I believe with the current materials I have, I can just make them, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm trying to remember how I did it, though. I want to say I did two pots, two flowers. These are my current favorite flowers in the texture pack, especially inside of pots. Or, yes, pots, that's what I'm thinking of. Um, I really need to change some textures around my pack, but I haven't really had the time or any textures to work with, so it's not for lack of trying. You know what, let's actually make a few of these. I don't know why I use birch wood though. That's kind of, I wouldn't say a bad idea, just not particularly ideal. Okay, so pots first. One, one, bloop, bloop. And then uh, right about here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about that. Actually, let's get rid of that for a second just to make this easier. Okay, painting, get off. There you go. We need... Oh, you know which one I need. Come on. I haven't even got a single too high one yet. Or is that because I'm doing it at a weird... Nope, nope. Too high. And that is so weird that paintings stack like that and it shouldn't. I think I'm missing... Oh, yep, there it is. Okay. Oh, 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 there it is. Crap. Now I just have to get the other ones off without... It's not gonna work. Yep, it's not gonna work. Crap. Okay, we're gonna have to do this one at a time. Unfortunately. There we go. Yes. That's exactly what I wanted. Also, some of the old Minecraft music that I've grown to love. And I think that looks really cool. Just very basic. And, you know, kind of shows the standard proudly. I'm trying to remember if I didn't just put two on the side and then one of those in the middle. I think that looks right. But I'm not entirely sure. I'll check later and I can fix it later. Okay, for now, let's see. What we're going to do is, let's see, one, two, three, about three, and then we're going to split across, like such. And this is going to have little wall here. Let's see. Two, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then another support beam. Again, I'm doing this from the uh, plans that I drew up. Uh, like I said, creative mode and then uh, I drop blueprints essentially. So I know the basic outline of what I'm doing. Ouch. And we're gonna do that. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I think it's four. One, two, three, four. And then the little wing here. Yeah, we definitely need to widen that, the land. I mean, it isn't going to be a bother right now, but it will just look better later when I'm doing that. Also, for now, we're going to do the windows. I came up with an interesting design. Well, I wouldn't say came up with, like, yes, it's my design, but it's hard to be entirely original, so I sure someone has come up with it before and I just either have saw it or made it myself and just not known or whatever but anyway interesting design I really like it for windows now see that looks kind of nice and it gives a little more depth N nothing overly fancy but I like it I really do definitely one of my favorite designs I can't remember if I put a window here or not I feel like I did but I might have not, because this is going to be a porch right there. I think I'll just put a window there for now, just because, I don't know, I feel like it'll look nicer. Yeah, I totally should not have used the birch wood for the other stuff. Hopefully we have enough. We should have enough. But I may need to go harvest more later. That's okay, I need to go get other materials that I have forgotten. And I also need more clay, because I'm actually going to make a fireplace... Place place out of 
uh, brick for once instead of like stone brick or something. I'm generally not a fan of brick because it reminds me of the outside of a house, but in this case, it fits perfectly. Okay, so let's see. Put these down. Oops. Not quite like that. And then, bam. It's a nice little window here. And this back wall is nice just for the, um, like, stuff that I'm going to be... Stuff that takes up a lot of room, like a sink or refrigerator and stuff. This is going to be the kitchen, obviously, since I'm talking about fridges and stuff. Okay. So, place this here. Oops. Not like that. However, it is going to come across the top like so. And then we're going to not mess that up again. <clears throat> Ew. Throat's a little dry for some reason. Okay, we're going to need more doors. And I've made that joke so many times in the past, I'm just going to skip it. Uh, let's see. For those of you that are wondering, more doors. Stupid reference, I know. Anyway, um, oh god, speaking of which, we just got the new Hobbit menu at Denny's. And the food looks amazing. Well, most of it, because, you know, certain things don't appeal to me just in general. Not just because it's... I don't know, like the eggs in the basket thing, the hobbit hole thing. It looks good. I'm just not a fan of that style of eggs that they use inside of the basket thing. So anyway, um, new menu there, and it's the hobbit menu, which, again, really cool, really interesting, because I'm kind of a fan. But um, the acting was so terrible. Like, the, they used so cheesy effects, and the guy that was doing it was like... Ah, uh, crap. Um, hold on. Let me let me continue the story after we sleep for a minute. So, hopefully no monsters, especially little zombie things that terrify me. None? 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 Ah, oh, good. Didn't have time to spawn. Good. So, anyway. Um, the guy was just so cheesy. Like, he was, he was overly excited, but very fake about it. So, it was just... Ugh. Like watching a horrible movie... Granted, it was kind of a horrible movie. Uh, the the thing, I mean, not the Hobbit. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Two, four, six, seven. I think this is entirely way too long. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the sport beam should be right about here. It seems kind of small, but then again, that's what she said. So, um. It was so cheesy. I wonder if you can actually find a video on YouTube of it. I mean, someone probably uploaded it and they weren't supposed to. But it's... I think it's funny just because it's so bad. It's funny. But uh, anyway, at Denny's, uh, the, the video we were watching, I was like, it would have been so hilarious, though. Like, it would have killed the franchise for me. But it would have been funny if, like, uh, Gandalf... Uh, I think that's his name. Well, I, I think that's the correct pronunciation. I always try to say Ganondorf from, like, Zelda... I think I mispronounced that too, but eh, it doesn't matter for this particular purpose. So anyway, it would have just been funny if he was like on the menu or something. He's like, you shall not pass on these great deals. Oh, God. I, I kind of hate myself for even just thinking of that. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. And then one on each side. That should be right, unless I drew this wrong. You know, you know I think... As a treat one day, I'm just going to, like, scan all of my old um, blueprints that I've drawn up, like, by hand. And first of all, you guys can see how terrible my drawing is. And second of all, you would, uh, I don't know, actually see how I draw them, maybe? I think it would be interesting. Uh, but yeah. I'm actually really liking my new job. The only thing I do hate is that it takes up a lot of my free time. Uh, unfortunately, it's kind of necessary because um, while I do make money with YouTube, it's honestly not a huge amount. Like, I was able to pay bills with it, but sometimes I would struggle, and I really hate struggling with money because it gets me stressed, and that affects my videos too. So, kind of a damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of thing. Um, but, so I got this new job, and I really like it. Um, I'm a waiter at Denny's, if for you guys that haven't been informed. And, like I said, I just like it. Like, the people are there, most of the people are incredibly nice. The management's 
actually cares about its employees, which is incredibly alien to me, because <laughs> I've just not had, I guess, many good jobs in the past. Hence, one of the reasons why I quit to do the whole YouTube thing. Um, so I used to work at McDonald's. That place would not recommend working at. Well, I suppose it depends on the McDonald's, because some are nice, obviously. Uh, just in general, um, the one I worked at, whether you had a good or bad day, completely depended on who was the manager. So, definitely not a good thing to do. Okay, so I kind of want to put another pillar right here. Like, right here. Because it would kind of frame it nicely, I believe. But I feel like maybe it's too close. Uh, oh, crap. Uh... <laughs> did not mean to do that and apparently I accidentally deleted my super awesome enchanted armor because uh, I noticed something really odd when doing this is that because uh, I went back to my old base I believe and um, my, my laboratory is what I meant to say and I was like I mean, just take the minecart system because it's fast and easy. And I take it and I get stuck in the minecart. And the only way I could get out of it was to go into creative mode and, like, break the minecart with lava. And it happened multiple times. And I have no idea what's going on with that. Uh, it may just be a glitch with the version I'm in or my world. I have no clue. But hopefully I can figure it out or change it or something. But uh, in the process, I accidentally deleted all of my mega diamond armor. If I can figure out what I had, I might be able to you know, cheat it back in since I accidentally cheated it out in the first place. But yeah, let's see. We're going to need some filler. I don't want to waste wood. Let's go grab some dirt. Me. That'll do. Okay, let's see. Actually, I think this is perfect. And then, let's see. Yeah, that's where that is. And please stay there painting for, ah, crap. I was gonna say like for five more seconds, but no, you couldn't just wait. Could you? No. Okay. I'm trying to remember how I'm, I think it just goes across like this. Which is why I had it like that earlier. And then slabs across the top. Yeah, that looks that looks exactly like I remember. Well, in terms of the ceiling and stuff. Uh, I hate that. Oh, perfect. Wow, thank you. Paintings being cooperative for once. I really wish you could just like cycle through them somehow, but I don't think Minecraft has advanced that much yet. I think I'm going to need more stairs to do this. Let's see. Um, yeah, I'm going to need more. Lots more. But for now, that will do. But yeah. Um, I think what I might do is... I don't know. I need to find a free day to do it. Because I've been wanting to do a bunch of stuff with both my channel and just my fans in general. Because you guys are pretty awesome, I think. I mean, out of all the fans I could have, I think you guys are pretty cool. Because I know some channels have, like, some terrible people uh, that, you know, just troll the channel. And, of course, I have trolls as well. But I think how I handle trolls kind of turns them away. In general. I mean, some are persistent and whatever. Not that I care, because, again, I don't... Trolls don't bother me. I, I grew up dealing with, I guess, haters, if you want to... I can't really think of a better word than hater. But, yeah. Essentially, that's kind of what I had to grow up dealing with. So, it just doesn't affect me whatsoever. Um, You know what? We're just going to do, like, a... I feel like that's most of my wood. Although I'm going to need lots of it, I just I hate doing that. And then one here. And we're gonna need we're gonna need more birch wood. I don't think there's any nearby. Plenty of spruce though. I might I might just like make my own artificial forest and cut it down while I work on this. Uh, why not? Not artificial forest. Would that be the right word? Man-made forest, I suppose. I guess artificial would fit in there. Also, this is where the fireplace is going to go. I still actually need to work on the design of the fireplace anyway, so 
we're just going to... Oh yeah, I'm also going to have an outhouse because I couldn't fit a bathroom in here at the time. You know what, let's go ahead and put a support beam and see how that works. I did that again. You would think I would learn from the first time. I don't think that looks terrible. It probably looks a little bit better. I might be able to do something with that wall, like maybe put some uh, vines or something on it. Oh, that's sad. I just instantly thought of the website. Also, I saw a meme recently that made a very good point. Why aren't they called um, the videos? Why aren't they called vine? Oh, grapes? Because it's a grape vine. It would it would make sense, but I, I suppose they wanted to. I don't know. Trade not trademark. Um, brand brand recognition. Yeah, something to do with brand recognition. Blah blah blah. So okay. Um, I'm actually going to want to do the floor of this one first. It shouldn't take too long. It's just kind of loud. Okay. I can do the rest of the floor later. It's just I really want to do this room because it looks so much better. Like, I designed that room before I even actually finished most of the house. I just finished the dining room, and I thought it looked pretty amazing. Probably too fancy for a barn house, but, you know, not our barn houses are, like, rednecky. So, speaking of which, I'm going to fill this in properly, eventually. But, uh, for now, I'm going to have to settle for making it look not like crap. I hate that, and the sheep are loud and annoying, and gets on my nerves, and yeah, I'm totally going to have to uh, expand that. Yeah, just a little bit. Like, uh, kind of like curve right there, and then subtly curve it into that. But again, that can wait for a few moments. Hello, creepy noises, we meet again. <laughs> 